So, Andy Ruiz coming in 260, 265 for this Luis Ortiz fight. That's what he's planning on doing. Okay, pretty good because we know he was around 268 in his um, biggest win of his career against Anthony Joshua when he TKO'd Anthony AJ Joshua. And we know he's gone up and down. He, in the rematch with Anthony Joshua, he came in horrible shape. He was in the 280s. Anthony Joshua went on to box his brains out, okay? Stuck with the jab. Just ran away with it over the, over the course of 12 rounds. And since then, he's gotten as low as 250s against uh, Areola. He got dropped. Uh, he was good against Chris Areola. Areola's a good fighter, man. Volume puncher. But Andy Ruiz, he needs that weight on him. But this weight is different. And Ruiz said he's in shape to go 12. He didn't worry about his weight. He's worried about being in shape. When you look at him, his body looks different than it ever looked when he fought against Joseph Parker and he fought against Anthony A.J. Joshua when he was in the 260s. He looks more like the weight distribute different, more muscle, stuff like that. This is going to be a great... Andy Ruiz, and he has to be in shape for Luis Ortiz. We saw what he did to Charles Martin. Charles Martin was beating the hell out of him and took a break for a quick second and went Picasso on him. You know, the last thing to go is your punching power. Ortiz, 156 years old. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But we don't know how old Ortiz is. We just know he's old. Um, he's old for a fighter. Young man, old for a, for a fighter. Last thing to go is your punching power. Andy Ruiz got to be able to move. Got to be able to pressure him and give angles. And I think that's what he's prepared for. He's no longer with Canelo's camp. He's with Rafael. Okay. All this stuff sounds good. I got Andy Ruiz beating Luis Ortiz. And I'm, I'm liking him keeping the weight on him and, and a little bit more muscle on him. It's good. Now let's go to Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez, he stated that he's looking to end the career of Triple G. He said he had a great career. He said he's a great middleweight, but he's looking to end his great career. <laughs> I love that. He's 100% motivated. He's, he wants to fight violently. This is what I'm going to say about Canelo Alvarez. What's inspiring, inspiring about Canelo Alvarez is regardless of what we've said, what Everyone said about him losing the bubble. Everybody finally seeing Canelo lose and partying, partying around his 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 corpse, uh, so to speak. Canelo, he didn't bend to the will of the people or the haters or whomever. Got motivated, stuck to it, got back on the grind, and that's what I suggest everyone should do. If you ever fall and everybody's praising on your downfall, give them the finger. That's the only time you pay attention to them, just to give them the finger. Get up on your feet, shut them all up. Canelo Alvarez, this is a good first step to do it. In Triple G's career, if he can do that, and see what he's can, he can do after that. You see Mauricio Suleiman talking about WBC mandating fights like with David Benavidez or Jamar Charlo. He's going to pick one. Canelo Alvarez looking at Bilfo versus Ramirez very closely. He said himself, if Ramirez wins... He's not going to fight a Mexican. Bilbo wins. He wants his rematch. Okay. What he wants more than anything is his rematch. Now, let's all hope that Ramirez win, huh? Because <laughs> I, want, I want to see him defend undisputed again and reign. I want to see him. Um, he didn't look that good at light heavyweight. Neither time. With Kovalev, Kovalev was beating him too. People forget about that. I want to see him fight a Jamar Charlo, David Benavidez. We've been thirsting for that for a long time. Let's go Ramirez. Canelo Alvarez, though, he has to get past Triple G. Triple G is going to be motivated as well. Triple G, whole career, has been trying to get back at Canelo Alvarez. Hell, even before then, he was willing to wait around middleweight division for Canelo Alvarez or even go down. He was not trying to go up to fight Andre Ward. I know that's a scab that we all pick. That's been Triple G. Focused on Canelo Alvarez. A draw. Then a loss. He feels he won both. We know he won the first one. 
see what happens the third time. He's going to be motivated as well. I'm looking to do a giveaway, give away something from Triple G if this is going to be the last fight of his career, win or lose. If he wins, I'm not sure if he continues to fight. It'd be nice if he beats Canelo Alvarez. That's undisputed. That super middleweight, he could go off right off into the sunset, like how Jordan did with the Bulls. That last shot came back with the Wizards. We all won it. That's where Jordan's career ended for a lot of us Jordan fans and Bulls fans. <laughs> but let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. What do you think about any Ruiz, his size, Canelo Alvarez looking to end Triple G's career? Showbiz adult. I'm out.